Hey everyone, we all know that there is a downtime to the winter and it gets very cold and there's not a lot to do, but there's so much that we can do, actually. So it's just John Q. Me here, you know, I have found ways to bring joy to my heart and also it's not, uh, there's nothing wrong with someone like me or a guy, for instance, single guy wanting to do things that are positive and bring light to people. So what I like to do is I like to decorate, I like to do art, I like to do bird watching, appreciate the environment and find things that are positive and bring me joy. And if that's something you like to do, maybe you don't want to admit it, maybe you don't want people to know that you have that artistic side to you or you have a little bit of uh, patience and empathy towards <clears throat> the environment and creation, well, tune into this channel. <laughs> So what we got here is, um, my house is a mess. It gets messy, you know, even I, I, I do have people over, I, I, I do entertain, um, I, I, but, you know, a lot of times I'm alone too, and the place just gets messy regardless. But we have Christmas stuff still up. Um, what I've done is I've taken down most of the Christmas ornaments and things like that, and I've decided, now, I don't think I'm going to leave the tree up. I was gonna, and I was gonna put like hearts and things on it and different Valentine's Day stuff, but I've decided that I'm probably gonna take that down. However, we are gonna leave that tree up and the garland. So I think the garland and pine cones represent, uh, you know, the winter time. So what we did is just went to the dollar store, got some of these hearts, just threw them right on there. And then I might throw a couple on that tree and leave it just as a nature tree. Over on this section, uh, we're, I've already removed all the Christmas stuff that we had there before. That tree's probably going to go. Um, got that at the dollar store just to add a slight touch of Valentine's Day to come. Um, and then just threw a couple of little hearts on that table. But I also kept uh, the angel and the pine cones. So you, you can really add like a, any kind of touch to any season. You can really make it work. And uh, when people come over, it adds a really nice effect. People really do appreciate it. Um, next, I want to talk about how we are going to attract the other, other colorful things of nature. And that's birds. Birds are a great addition to your backyard. And uh, they're free. Well, not necessarily if you got to buy bird seed. But, you know, they're free to watch. And I'm going to show you how to attract them with literally ten dollars um maybe a little bit more but in that ball game let's get started as you can see the bird feeders here were about six bucks each they're just these metal bird feeders i've used them every single year um for the past three years now so they obviously have gotten dirty um what we're gonna do is uh it's really important to take care of the birds and their health so uh, once every two weeks, maybe three weeks, it's important to take the bird feeder down, to clean it up, get it all nice and clean, replace the seeds, and uh, then get them back up there because you know they're hot. What we're gonna do now, and then I'm just gonna show you how to make this, even this cheap, older bird feeder be very effective at attracting these birds. So let's do it. So cleaning your bird feeder is very simple. All you need is a little soap and water. Now the only soap I recommend using and the only one that I know is safe is a little bit of the Dawn. Um, the blue one is fine. Don't use a lot, just a very little. And a nice soapy water and a sponge. And we'll, what we'll do, this one's bird feeder has clearly uh, been through the ringer. And the reason why it gets this black stuff on it is because the um, the squirrels, what happens is, is they're, they try everything in their power to break into these things. So what I do is a simple trick with a little bit of olive oil. I actually put it on the top and uh, down the chain. And you should see how funny it is when those squirrels try to jump on there and they slide right off. Um, unfortunately, you know, you're always going to get a squirrel or two that's going to get through so to some extent. And that's okay. Um, you know, the squirrels really are not going to hurt anything. Um, and they're just as much a part of our backyard fun as the birds. So, once, we, once you uh, finish doing this and we get it nice and clean, I'll show you the bird seed that we're going to use. Very cost efficient, very simple, and I'll tell you where to get it as well. Before it's gone 
So next you could uh, actually rinse this off in the sink in order to get the, uh, the rest of the stuff out. And uh, sometimes it gets a little hard, depending on what kind of bird feeder you're using. So what I've done is I go to Big Lots. Now you can also find um, this bird seed in other stores as well, but you don't want to pay too much money. These, um, this particular bird seed is wild bird food. It has a mix of sunflower, black, um, black oil sunflower, um, different little seeds like that for a variety of different birds. The cardinals really like it. Um, you'll also see a bunch of different other birds as well. Um, I think this whole bag cost me about, uh, it was, it's labeled as $13.99, but it was on sale for $8.99 at Big Lots. So you can always run into a good deal. It lasts a pretty long time. You can get a couple fills out of it. And uh, within a day or two, you will actually see a decent amount of birds first thing in the morning, about midday, and then just before the sun goes down. One thing I've noticed is the birds like the glass covered ones with the opening at the bottom way more than picking it through the mesh. I don't know why. Um, they I don't think they could get their beak through it, but as long as they could pick from the bottom like right here, that's really good for them too. For right now, I just have it hanging off a hook, but what I'm planning on doing is I have to get a better ladder, and I'm just going to hang it from a hook from right here so it actually is easy for the birds to access this from both sides. But you'd be surprised, they still actually do get behind there. And the reason why I have it here is so I could actually sit and observe while drinking coffee from my house and without disturbing them. I could be standing here washing the dishes, doing whatever, and got a perfect glimpse of that bird feeder. So we'll recap. So what we'll get, you know, uh, is the bird feeders. Now they're anywhere from $5 to, you know, there are pricey ones. The ones I got were about eight bucks. They've lasted me for three years now from Big Lots. Um, you could do Home Depot. Uh, also Lowe's probably has some decent ones. Cheap bird seed, uh, wild bird seed is all you need during the winter months. They're gonna very much appreciate it. And you're gonna see a lot of Cardinals. Um, and a couple of various size birds, things like that, even woodpeckers. Um, you will, you, you could get a very vast variety of colorful birds and beautiful birds. And you'll hear them first thing in the morning as you're getting your coffee ready. It's really a pleasant surprise to wake up to every day. And it's almost a gratifying feeling to take care of creation in such a way. And it's just very rewarding. So thanks for tuning in on the bird feeder thing. Uh, stay tuned for way more videos on how to do good things during this time. And uh, every season we will be doing videos about what we can do during that season, how to enjoy it. But we're doing our best here. Um, I'll be doing my best to post every Saturday. Even though this one's probably going up on a Sunday, we'll try for every Saturday. But you let me know how I'm doing, and if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it. Talk to you soon. One last lie before the truth.